this is number one been around for a while it's obviously a showpiece i never played <laughs> no this is how it all began we have this is it's, your signature i've worn out 10 sets of frets already and uh on just this one guitar yes and that, in fact th th this is uh a new set of stainless frets is hopefully going to last longer and one time I, I tried industrial ceramic frets on a on one of my Frankenstein guitars just in the hopes that I wouldn't have to ever refret my guitar it didn't work well sonically <laughs> sonically it didn't work but you know physically it, it did it was, and they were very they were the Rockwell hardness of the material was so high that they wouldn't have worn out so, so I mean, of course your fans are going to know this, but for some viewers at home don't know that this guitar was based on a guitar that you made yourself, right? Yeah, but so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's stuff that was standard in the industry. For instance, the neck came from a Telecaster that I, I got paid for a session with an old Telecaster. And the Telecaster had been butchered and wasn't stock and been painted over, uh, you know, by, not by professional. So, you know, it looked like just, just to the guy that gave it to me, I think it sort of looked like, you know, not, not that great of a piece of equipment. <laughs> but uh, actually, does say the neck, the body what, of the Telecaster is what I wanted. Because it was a big slab of wood. Once I stripped the paint off, I was like, I could put any pickups I want on this. And I could get the sound of a Gibson, sound of a Fender, and you know, other things that, that right. so I, I took my um, Stratocaster neck and the Stratocaster, I had been having a hard time getting the, uh, the sounds I wanted, you know, you know what a Stratocaster is, is really good for right. and everything. But if you, if you want to emulate, you know, say a Jimmy Page solo. It, it's just not a Strat thing, you know? Right. So, so here I am a teenager just like, well, my dad has hammers and chisels in the tool place. <laughs> so <laughs> started trial put, and error? Yeah, trial and error, putting things together. And uh, I ended up with a stop tail piece from a 12 string guitar that I, I got this piece at a pawn shop. And uh, it had 12 holes in it and I only needed six. So I kept a spare string looped around there because I was breaking my E string a, a, a lot, uh, the, the high end, so that I could you know quickly change the string. And uh, the uh, Gibson Tunematic Bridge was available as an accessory at, at our local music store. And then I started with, well, every pickup I could get my hands on, I tried in there and ended up with plastic plates or over other holes. And pretty, pretty soon I settled on four pickups. Okay. Arrangement that's very similar to this. It was and like humbucker, single coil, single coil, humbucker. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> 